Hello Capricorn, welcome to a reading all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. As always, it is meant to be a general love reading, so we're not resonating with every Capricorn watching. Take what resonates to, for you, what applies to your situation. All right, for Capricorn spirit, messages for Capricorn in love regarding love spirit. What do they need to know? Let's see, for Capricorn. So past, present, future, we have the nine of coin reverse, queen of wands, queen of swords reverse. Okay, um, I heard argument, like a, like a, like a fight that is probably coming or it, it could be a conversation that does not go the way that someone hoped. Nine of coin reverse. I feel like a lot of you have been like, maybe you recently met someone or recently were in a connection. Maybe it was really passionate and there, you, you were really attracted to this person. Maybe the chemistry was great. And then I feel like there's like possibly a conversation or something that takes a turn here. We'll see. What do we need to know about the situation? Any conflicts? Two of Wands reverse. Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, something's happening here. I feel like this person could have recently disappointed you, Capricorn. Something happened. How do you feel about this person? Eight of Wands reverse. Yikes. Six of Coin reverse. So you basically feel like this person was like playing with you or things weren't moving along. Maybe you were the only one giving to this connection. Um... Maybe things were not balanced here. How do they feel about you? Three of Swords reverse and the Four of Coin. Yeah, this person kept something from you. They could have kept a third party from you or they could have kept, um, held back here, held back some information or held back their feelings. Um, hmm. I wonder why. We'll have to see. Okay, so where's all of this headed? Seven of Swords. What the hell? And the Ace of Coin. Okay, so not terrible. <laughs> yeah, there's something off here, Capricorn. Be very careful. What do you need to know? Any hidden factors? Ten of Coin and Knight of Cups. Hmm. I feel like an apology is coming here. But I wonder if you can trust that. Why is all of this happening? Ten of Wands. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like someone here was carrying a heavy burden or holding back their true feelings, true emotions, or just I feel I feel like somebody was trying to do too much. But I, I almost feel like it was um it was not for the right reasons. Yeah, moon reverse right after that, Pisces energy. There's some sort of secret here, something hidden. And Capricorns, you just had a reading about like being FBI's. No, I'm just kidding. But you had a reading about figuring something out, Re like knowing the truth about something before you truly knew about it. So I wonder if this is like a continuation of that reading. We'll see. Let's get some clarity here. Spirit, angels, guides. Can we get some clarity, please, for Capricorn in love? What does Capricorn need to know, Spirit? Now, I'm not going to clarify every single card, just the ones that I feel we need clarity on. I want to start with this Ten of Wands. This is why everything is happening, the root, the foundation of everything. So, Queen of Cups. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even get to ask my question fully, but I was thinking about it, so I'm going to take it. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. What's this Ten of Wands about, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone was resisting their feelings or resisting their intuition. Um, I see like fights, like conflict, like someone like really being like, I'm not letting you get any closer. Yeah, the moon at the bottom of the deck because someone's probably suspicious 
or someone's trying to keep something hidden. And I say someone because this is what's going on in your situation. So you're both here, Capricorn, you and the other person. Can I go one more for the Ten of Wands? King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like emotions are a problem or feelings. Like someone can express their feelings very well or um, maybe someone's having doubts because, and when I say that, I mean, maybe you wanted to give this person the benefit of the doubt because of what you felt for them, right? But I feel like these feelings got to be too much, like um, this, this burden got to be too much. It's almost like I'm picking up like drops in a bucket. You know, it's like little by little, someone lost your trust or the situation got worse little by little. Okay, so let's find out. Tell me about, tell me about this Nine of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles reverse, please, Spirit. Four of Wands. Okay, I feel like some of you are dealing with someone that told you they were single, but they weren't. Or they told you they were done with a situation, but they weren't. Maybe they had an attachment to like a home. Tell me about the Queen of Swords reverse. Why is the Queen of Swords reverse here? Six of Wands. Five of Wands. So every time I see this, um, I feel like um, I feel like the Six of Wands is a card about recognizing, right? It's a card about observing someone very successful coming in from war, and they're victorious, and you're very happy, and everybody has eyes on them, blah, blah, blah. So when I see this Six of Wands with this Five of Wands, what I'm thinking is that you saw something that caused conflicts, or something was done out in the open that caused conflicts and someone's now very pissed with the queen of swords reverse and they could have even been lied to because the queen of swords reverse they don't really tell the truth unless it serves them have the eight of wands so this could have been like internet social media maybe a conversation you overheard something like that now the two of wands reverse for me as a reader this card could be a card about finally choosing a path right or you want to do two paths at the same time. So sometimes this card can mean infidelity for me because it's someone that doesn't really want to choose between two people. They want to kind of do, you know, see where it leads with two people at once, kind of, you know? So let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. Why is the Two of Wands reverse for Capricorn? Why is the Two of Wands reverse? Three of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands reverse? Why is the Two of Wands reverse? Five of Pentacles. Interesting. I have the Four of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles after that. So these two cards, the Four of Cups is a card about someone that is, um, not really open to new opportunities, um, disinterested, bored, dissatisfied, seven of pentacles as well. So when I see these two cards, it's almost like someone's like wondering or thinking a lot about the future. Maybe they're unhappy where they're at or they're unhappy with how things turned out or they don't know what's going to happen. Will they be rejected? There's a lot of emotions here. I feel like this is someone that's scared to be like abandoned or, or, or cut off or ghosted or something like that. Maybe this person tried to reach out to you with the three of wands and um, you did not respond. Or maybe this person has sent a message and is waiting to hear back. I'm also getting that a lot of you wanted confirmation before you really pulled the trigger. Um, maybe some of you doubted what you saw or you realized about this person and it's almost like I don't want to make any any rash decisions let me wait for the results of my FBI search you know <laughs> something like that because you didn't want to really make a mistake 
but I feel this is like tied up in heartbreak here. So it's either whatever you found out was heartbreaking or despite the heartbreak, you still wanted to kind of give someone a chance or you still were trying to wonder here what was going to happen. Because again, I feel feelings are involved and that makes it difficult. I have the page of cups here. So this could be somebody thinking about, you know, if I do apologize, because I do think an apology is coming here, Capricorn. Will Capricorn uh, accept my offer? Will they leave me on bread? <laughs> because I think this person knows, you know, it, it, and the reason I'm like going back and forth is because it could fit both narratives, you know? Either this is you, right? Given what's happened, this is you trying to make a decision about this person, right? Um, and you're not quite sure about where things will lead with this person. Is there a potential to fix things? Is there, are you, are you, are your suspicions correct? I feel like this is your energy, but I also can see that this is your person's energy and they're not sure if you're going to forgive what happened, you know, take it as it resonates. So let's see how you feel about each other. Oops. How you feel about each other what are your energies not sure why i can't pick up my deck here spirit tell me more about capricorn and this person they are dealing with what do we need to know about capricorn and this other person tell me about capricorn's energy and of course capricorn feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you so let's see for capricorn what do we need to know for capricorn Hidden motives, deception, secrets, avoidance. Yeah, I feel like someone was hiding something from you. There are secrets here. And then I have secret admirer at the bottom of the deck. Um, it's almost like you were observing this person um, to see if they were hiding something from you. Tell me about Capricorn's person. What do we need to know about Capricorn's person? Spirit? What do we need to know about Capricorn's person? Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. Yeah, I feel like this person, they're, they got themselves into trouble. I think they made the wrong choice, basically. Tell me about the Eight of Wands and the Six of Coin reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Wands and the Six of Coin reverse. Ace of Swords, yeah. I feel like you got to the bottom, the truth of something to the bot if you uh, and i feel like this is a continuation of the other reading tell me about the eight of wands and the six of coin reverse the truth is is out yep the emperor aries energy what's this two of cups i feel like you got to the bottom of something yep and there's a five of cups and i feel like what you found was very disappointing or this really was hurtful Maybe someone's regretting what's happened, but you know, I feel like at least you know the truth. Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse with the Four of Coin. Why is the Three of Swords reverse with the Four of Coin? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse with the Four of Coin. Strength, Leo Energy. I feel like this is someone that's trying to I feel come forward, you know, like visit you, see you. And I feel like they're trying to, to control the situation in a way or try to fix the situation here. We have the world at the bottom of the deck and seven of cups. So I feel like this person is trying to figure out which cup will Capricorn accept? Or will will Capricorn accept me at all? Will there be a new beginning here? I also get the sense that it's almost like this person confuses you. But I don't know if that's by design or if it's just they don't know how to communicate very well. Tell me about this Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? 
Nice and seven of cups here. Ten of wands. It's more of the same, I feel. I feel like this person is almost like, you know, either their choices lead to, yeah, look at this, the devil at the bottom of the deck. There you are, Capricorn. I feel like this person's choices always lead to this type of energy where someone's kind of like overwhelmed. They their their temptations lead them down the wrong path or their choices lead them down the wrong path. Um or this is you kind of like just over it. Like you've had enough of this confusion. You want just the truth. You want clarity. You want someone to just be straight with you. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Oops, I got two. Eight of Cups and then the Hangman. Interesting. Well, those are kind of two um, different energies. Tell me more about this Knight of... Actually, tell me more about the Hangman. Tell me more about the hangman. Yeah, this is someone that's already committed or has a responsibility somewhere already. I feel like this person has been there for a long time. I feel like there have been trust issues about this. Like maybe you suspected that this person, there's the higher font right after that. Maybe you suspected that someone was in a commitment all along or that what they were showing you, they were probably appearing to be a king of pentacles, but really weren't. Can I get one more for this Knight of Cups? Why is the Knight of Cups here? And wherever they're at, they can't really do anything about it. So be very careful what this person is telling you because I, I do see this person like stuck. Tell me about the Knight of Cups or like, you know, um, I feel like this person's going to tell you, oh, I'm going to work on things. I'm going to leave this situation. Right. But I don't think they are not truly, because remember, I have the Seven of Swords here and I feel like something's up. Not to mention I have the Ten of Coin, King of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So if you are new here. <laughs> Um, then, you know, those are cards for me of a long-term commitment. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. There's someone hiding something. I feel if you're thinking to yourself, I already found out, I feel like they're still going to hide something from you. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Ice of Cups. Mm. Okay. Can I get one more for the Seven of Swords? Can I get one more for the Seven of Swords? This poor person. Six of Swords, okay. So this is what I'm seeing, Capricorn. Take it with a grain of salt because all of you are dealing with different circumstances, right? Um, but I feel like this is someone who, and you know, feel free to tell me in the comments if this resonated, but this is kind of the energy I'm picking up. I feel like this is one of those situations where a person tells you I'm single, and then you find out they're not single or you find out they lied to you, right? And then they come to you and they said, okay, you caught me, but <laughs> I really did care about you and you really mean a lot to me and you mean so much to me that I'm going to do what you want me to do. And you say, that sounds great. Let me see it happen. And now they're thinking, how do I make this appear to be <laughs> what I said I was going to do, right? I feel like this is someone that's probably sneaking off to still lie or sneaking off because they're trying to buy time. So it's almost like they're lying to you to buy time or 
or hiding their true motives to buy some time or trying to win your trust back, but they're trying to win your trust back while doing something they shouldn't be doing. And I feel that you, what, what really makes me sad about all of this is I think this person really does care about you. I think there are true feelings involved here. I feel like this person truly does want a new beginning with you or to make you an offer to keep you around. You know, maybe there's a strong connection here, but I don't feel like they love you enough to do what they need to be doing, right? It's like they're making the wrong choice again. And I feel like a lot of you, you know, maybe you will um, give this person the benefit of the doubt. And I think they're gonna prove you right in a way. It's almost like your suspicions about this person will be confirmed twice. Tell me about the Ace of Coin. Tell me about the Ace of Coin. And it could also be this person may leave their partner, right? The third party. They may leave the third party, come to you. And then when things get difficult with you, they go back to them. It's almost like they left the door open back there, you know? I hope I'm wrong, but that's kind of the energy I'm picking up here. I'm picking up that this person, despite the fact that their feelings are true and real, I feel like they're not doing the right thing. Tell me about this Ace of Coin. Two of Wands. Tell me about this Ace of Coin. Tell me about the Ace of Coin. Yeah, the High Priestess. So again, secrets. I feel like this person is going to tell you they've made a choice, but they're, they're doing both at the same time. Bottom of the deck, the devil, if you don't believe me. <laughs> I mean, the confirmation is right there, you know? The high priest is with the devil. What does that tell you? You know? Unfortunately, that's what I see. I'm hoping that this person wakes up to the fact that this won't work, right? But people make mistakes all the time. And usually when someone thinks they're doing the right thing, they're not. I mean, that happens all the time. So it, it doesn't surprise me that this person, you know, maybe this has worked for them for a really long time and they're sticking to the script. But I don't know, Capricorn, You, fe I feel like you are, well, number one, you're too good for this. <laughs> um, but number two, I feel like you are a natural, like your instincts were already like right on, right? You were like tapped into your intuition and I don't think it's gonna work this person what this person is trying I don't think it's gonna work I think maybe they're just desperate maybe you cut this person off maybe you put up a boundary and they're desperate and so they're willing to try anything at this point otherwise I'll leave it here Capricorn I hope this resonated or that it brought some insight if it did let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you and uh, if you enjoyed the reading please consider hitting the like button subscribing um, I'd love to you know keep you around <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for your support, your kind comments. Um, I'm so grateful to all of you that continue to watch the videos. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.